Amid a lot of fanfare today, freshman Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez joined with Massachusetts Democrat Senator Ed Markey to roll out ambitious plans for Democratic policy. But even before it launched, the most powerful member of the House downplayed the Green New Deal. And after, well, a lot of people, many in her own party, were having to dodge questions about the plan's specifics. The reason, many lawmakers find it pretty far-fetched to eliminate flatulating cows and air travel in just 10 years' time. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel joins us from Capitol Hill with the Green New Deal fallout. Good evening, Mike. Brett, good evening to you. It was stunning how quickly some Democrats jumped on this proposal, eager to link themselves to the left star of the moment. I am so incredibly excited. The Green New Deal has an estimated price tag of $7 trillion, but its freshman champion, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, doesn't want to talk about that. So the resolution itself does not have a price tag on it, which is why we address each individual project on its own. It is certainly ambitious, moving America to 100 percent clean and renewable energy by 2030, through major investment increases in wind and solar power, sweetened with generous tax incentives. And it would modernize U.S. infrastructure, upgrade or replace every building for energy efficiency, and create an economic safety net for low-income communities. But in trying to achieve those net zero emission goals, organizers are trying to get a handle on practical limits, admitting in earlier drafts that, quote, we aren't sure that we'll be able to fully get rid of farting cows and airplanes that fast. That odorous description was omitted from the eventual online version. But the plan extends beyond the environment, guaranteeing job security and paid vacation, and it promises economic security for all those who are unable or even unwilling to work. So when our default is renewable, when our default investments are clean, then then all of us, by default, regardless of income, will have access to, to those energy sources. Some 2020 presidential hopefuls were quick to jump on board, including Senators Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Kirsten Gillibrand, and Cory Booker. They used words like bold and excited in supporting the resolution. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, in an interview with Politico, referred to it as the green dream or whatever they call it. Nobody knows what it is, but they're for it, right? Quite frankly, I haven't seen it, uh, but I do know that it's enthusiastic, and we welcome all the enthusiasms that are out there. Ocasio-Cortez didn't take offense when asked about it. No, I think it is a green dream. I don't consider that to be a dismissive term. I think it's a great term. And it has earned the seal of approval from former Vice President Al Gore, who called the goals ambitious and comprehensive. Many veteran Democrats with years of experience on this issue seemed quite content to let the newly elected New Yorker take the rhetorical lead on the plan. Pelosi also rolled out her Climate Select Committee today, and Ocasio-Cortez is not a member. Ocasio-Cortez insists she was not snubbed. Brett? Mike Emanuel, live on the Hill. Mike, thanks.